Hey everyone, Marcy here from the Wild Tribe. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about sugar. So there's been a ton of research that sugar is bad for us, but there's a lot of specific research that you may not be aware of. So today I'm specifically gonna talk about how sugar can affect your mood, can affect your menstrual cycle, and also why is sugar addictive. So first we're gonna start with the research that I've pulled up on the screen here. And here is a study from the British Journal of Sports, and it explains that when the brain is low in dopamine, this can lead to withdrawals. And it is the withdrawal that can lead to continued perpetual sugar intake leading to addition, addiction. But the withdrawals from sugar are less obvious compared with addictive drugs. So the reason I wanted to start with this subject in particular is because recently, I've been trying to reduce my sugar intake and as a result of that I've been feeling less of a need to consume it. So I've noticed that when I consume sugar a lot then I crave it more and that's what made me want to research the subject. So as it's explaining here that when the brain is low in dopamine it signals to your brain that you're in withdrawal which makes you reach for that sugar even more so that's why sugar is actually addictive and can be compared to any sort of drug that you get used to and then your brain craves when you stop using it so the second thing i would like to move on to is how is sugar affecting your period or your menstrual cycle so this is taken from divacup.com and let's just read this together. So, it says, it's important to manage your refined sugar intake, not only because it can make you gain weight, but it can also disrupt your body's blood sugar levels. Eating sugary food will cause your blood sugar levels to go up, and the higher your blood sugar goes, the more severe your period symptoms may be. It's important to keep them at a steady level, and so we recommend natural sugars in moderation. So the reason I researched this specific subject is because I've also noticed that personally, on months where I'm consciously cutting back my sugar intake, my period symptoms are a lot less severe. And I've also noticed that my mood is drastically improved. So basically, I think that we should all just do a collective job of trying to reduce our sugar intake. But for women, on the, the weeks leading up to your period, you should be extra careful about the amount of sugar that you are intaking. And that includes fruit sugars, process, especially processed sugars, and also sugars that come from alcohol. These are all things that can greatly affect your menstrual cycle and can make a huge difference in having a painful period versus having a tolerable period. The third thing I would like to go through today is about sugar and mood. So there is a ton of research on sugar and how it can affect your mood. So right here we have an article about the connection between sugar and depression. And we'll just read through it together once again. And so right here we're talking about how refined carbohydrates are linked to depression. And the next bullet is sugar is more addictive than cocaine. We've already re talked about that in the previous research, which I explained. And sugar is linked to inflammation, which is linked to depression. This is a very interesting bullet to me because research is now being shown that inflammation is the cause for most, all, almost all of the new Western diseases that we are finding in humans. So. Anything that you can do to reduce inflammation in your body will make you feel like a healthier, happier person. So sugar causes inflammation and that can be linked to depression. So insulin may also help treat depression. Researchers are so confident that depression can be linked to sugar intake that they've studied using insulin to treat it. In one study, researchers found that people with both major depression and insulin resistance showed improvement with their depression symptoms when they were given medication to treat diabetes for 12 weeks. The effect was particularly strong in young study participants. So that's just a brief video on sugar and the dangers of it and why we should stay away from it. Just to review, 
Sugar can affect your mood and lead to depression. Sugar can also make a huge difference between your menstrual cycle and make it a tolerable one versus a painful one. And finally, sugar is extremely addictive. When you have a sugar, a diet that's high in sugar and you stop, your brain is automatically going to tell you that you need more of it, just like any other addictive drug. I hope this was a helpful guide on sugar and the dangers of it, and please feel free to message us if you have any questions. Thanks.